Hi, this is Denise from Painted Party. I'm going to do this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer design for you in Star Blend. Of course, you can do it in paint also. Um, let's get started. This is White Star Blends, and I'm starting with the nose. And when you go underneath people's nose, you might want to tell them to hold your breath a little bit so they don't get powder up their nose. And as you're doing the muzzle, go outside of the lip lines a little bit to square it off. And that's what makes it look more like a reindeer. And if you'd like, you can leave this chin part off for speed or if you know the child's going to be eating so they don't smear it. And when you're doing the eyes, just stay right on the eyebrow line. That'll make it easier to line later on. Now I am going to add white just to kind of do the fringe. I'm going to start from the corner of the eye and then come in and make kind of a you have to cut in real tightly here so you kind of get that long face look. I'll do that. I find that this line not only makes it look more animal like but it makes them look cuter too like they have apple cheeks. Okay. Now I'm going to fill in with the oriental color. It's kind of this cool goldish color. So I'm going to kind of keep my forehead small here. Fill in around the eyes. Go under the eyes. Okay. See those ear shapes? I'm going to add some dimension with um, cocoa color since most of you have cocoa um, but you could use dark Egyptian or ebony or your favorite brown This is another reason I like to use lollipops for applying star blends because you can use the end to do line work and fine shading. Okay, and now to make it officially more Christmassy, I'm going to add a little red for the Rudolph nose. At a gig, I would use whatever red was left over in my lollipop, and I would make the boy's lip black with paradise paint. And now for the language. I know it's a little hard to see, but I pressed at the bottom of the muzzle and then also at that top squared off area. Now I'm splitting the lip. Um, only go about two thirds of the way up. We're going to shade that later with a rake brush. To line the eyes, come in, press, and then flick out. And if you want, you can come back in and fill in a little bit. Rather than use furry lines like you would for a kitty to define the ears, I wanted bold stripes. And so I used a combination of teardrops all around the ears. To do the bottom lip, I find it easier to break it up into two pieces. And then for the little chin hairs, just do teeny little teardrops. Now I've loaded some white in my homemade rake brush. I'm going to add some fur effects. 
Make sure your paint is very dry so you get a fur effect when you drag and not a blob. And now I've taken the same rake brush and loaded it with black, just barely, like scrape it across the top of your cake so that it's pretty dry. And I'm going to come up and make kind of a more of a separation on the lip. If you'll notice, I'm turning the brush sideways for more control. And I'm trying to make a triangular shape from the middle of the lip outward. Thank you. I'm going to put a little bit here up here to define while well, I've got it loaded to define the fuzzies on top. Okay, what about the antlers? I designed it at first without any antlers because I thought it would be cool to have a kid go like this and make some antlers. Isn't that cool? <laughs> or sometimes they'll have like their own antlers and so you don't have to have include the antlers. <laughs> But I'll paint some antlers on because that's probably what most of us will do. Okay, here's the basic design. Now I'm going to add some embellishments, maybe with some glitter and stenciling, um, just to finish it off if you have more time. I recommend Paradise for stenciling, especially over Star Blends. I should have added some of these cute dots on the forehead also. Get off with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? 